Okay, so you guys know that I made my fair share of mouse reviews in the past. And well, let's just say I'm super excited because I'm actually checking out the Gravistar Mercury M2 wireless mouse. This thing just looks crazy like you guys can see. I'm not going to spoil anything too soon. But if you guys do enjoy the video, you want to check it out, go check out the link at the top of the description as well as the pinned comment. I'm basically going to be doing a bit of an unboxing, showcasing the features of the mouse itself. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to showcase me playing Fortnite with the mouse itself just to kind of feel it out and give you guys my honest thoughts. But yeah, if you guys do enjoy like comment subscribe let's get right into the unboxing okay guys this is the mouse itself and i'm sorry for the poor mic quality just because i don't actually have a mic plugged into my camera this is actually just the mouse itself that you guys can see mercury m2 wireless gaming mouse flip me over to the back um actually the side you can see that's the structure of the mouse it's kind of cool it has like this weird like skeleton alien looking thing um and then if we look on the back here it just kind of goes over the specs of the mouse itself uh, the report rate of the USB, the max acceleration, the max speed, resolution uh, being the DPI, and that's basically that. So let's actually get this out of the box. So just taking it out of the box here, we can see that we literally just have the mouse itself. So super basic packaging. We don't have like a ton of things. The inside of the box has a bit of padding, which is good. Kind of supports for the mouse itself. But this is actually the M2 mouse itself here. See if I can get it in focus, there we go. And like you guys can see, it does look very unique. Let's just say that. Uh, we can see that this little central part is where the RGB is going to be. We can see there's a thumb grip right here as well as a thumb grip or a pinky grip, I should say, right here, depending on if you're left or right-handed. And we can see the mouse buttons has M2. On the other side, it says Game Beyond Limits. The scroll wheel has like this cool little like diamond shape on it, which is super cool. We have the DPI button right here, and then we can see the Gravistar branding right there. Now on the bottom, we have a switch as well as the center, and then the glides actually feel pretty solid. And there's no film on that, so we don't have to worry about taking that off. But just initial impressions, the glide of the mouse itself, pretty solid compared to like my Model O. Let's see. Yeah, it's about the same. So we can see yeah, if not, this one's better. Just kind of cool. Let me just toss this off to the side. We'll focus on the rest of the box. But inside here, we have the actual USB-A, I think this is what it's called. USB-A to USB-C adapter. So that is that. And then we have the little wireless chip that'll actually plug into the computer itself. I don't know if you can see that. Focus, focus. Anyways, doesn't really matter, but that's just a little chip. And underneath the plastic right here, you can see we have a wire if we decide to make it wired as well as some additional you know stickers and stuff like that so we have the manual right here pretty solid mercury wireless gaming mouse let me open it up right here okay so this is actually interesting i thought these were stickers but these are actually grips and then we have interchangeable glides so i might actually put that on the mouse itself because i think that's super cool so let me just quickly check this out i'm gonna open this up and we can see this is a little cloth thing to protect it. Now these are actual glides. That's interesting. These are like replacement glides for the mouse itself. They feel pretty similar. Um, but those are the replacement glides I'm assuming. Now on the back of here, wow. Okay, so these are textured. So these are gonna be for kind of a more like gaming experience. We got the Be Cool Play It Gravistar. So these are going to be for the little side pieces right here. We can see that that will go there. And then these will go obviously on top of the mouse button. So I might actually apply these. That's what I'm actually gonna do right now so let's just do that quick and i didn't show it but here is the wire in case we want to go wired um, we have the wire it's usb to usb type c just like any other mouse or keyboard just like any other mouse or keyboard so that's that let's get these stickers on okay so this is super cool we're gonna take this juice these are definitely adhesive so that looks like it's gonna go right here so let's put that on just like that so we have that one on the left side right here perfect and then we got this one here which is going to go on the right side toss that on so line it up perfectly just like that should be good so we're going to apply that rub it on a little bit good now let's do the thumb grips and i think these are going to be the biggest difference makers just because the standard ones right now are just plastic so they're not going to be super grippy so let's just do like sticking to my finger. There we go. We got the grip on like that. I was actually looking super good now, dude. Can't lie. And this one 
We're gonna toss this one on this side as well. This is gonna be the more important one because this can be the thumb grip. I definitely scuffed that. It's a little off. There we go. That is that, dude. This looks amazing. Jeez, I'm glad I actually did this because this looks way better than the standard black unless you're looking for kind of the sleek design. Uh, let's get this plugged in just so we can see what this, end up, what this ends up looking like. So I got the adapter. I'm gonna plug this into my computer just at the top. I'll be back in a sec. Okay, so the adapter's in the top. All that's left to do is put this in the on position. Put it to the left, I think, is the one with the adapter. Okay, so yeah. If we put it to the left, that's actually to pair it with the adapter that comes with the mouse. And then if we put it in the middle, that's the off. And then to the right is just normal Bluetooth. So that is basically that. So we can see the RGB. It actually looks super cool in this. Damn, dude. All right, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna hop over to my computer. We're gonna have a bit of a hand cam. We're gonna play some Fortnite. So I'm gonna get Fortnite loaded up. We're gonna test this out. Okay, guys, so I know the camera angle might be a little bit scuffed right now, but I tried my best to get a hand cam of just the mouse itself. And you guys can see, we got the mouse right here with the RGB. RGB and we have the grips on it so that's super cool i'm actually a really big fan of the grips itself but we're actually just going to free build a little bit i did mess with the dpi we can see there are rgb indicators for each level of dpi so we can see there's like this yellow which is pretty high blue which is even higher purple is the highest and then red's the lowest blue is the medium i think i'm like basically on blue normally but the cool thing about this mouse that i can sense right off the bat is that you don't even need to press the buttons very much to like actually like they have a low actuation point if that makes sense so you don't need to like spend a lot of force to actually you know, press the button like that so compared to the other mice that i have owned there's not a lot that you need to press Don't ask me why I'm playing ranked free build right now. I just am. And honestly, probably the fate, my favorite thing about this mouse is actually the side grips. Like they are like a big difference maker. We can see wide isn't too much on these, which is really good. But yeah, just overall first impressions of the mouse. I am a big fan of it. And honestly, I don't have anything like constructive to say about the, you know, integrity of the mouse itself or the design or anything like that. That's just basically my general thoughts. We can see I am a little rusty at Fortnite. Like I'm not as insane as I used to be. I'm trying the mouse out and then I'm going to probably hop back off for the next two weeks and not play the game. But yeah, like you guys can see, I am pretty used to the mouse already. The only thing that's tripping me out is it looks like it could be used like either way just because of hollow design um but you know i am a big fan of it and you can see even though i am low sensitivity i'm able to whip around and you know do all the little if i were to do flick shots or anything like that that's basically that but yeah uh i can't lie i am very satisfied with the mouse itself and uh that is that but yeah guys that's actually gonna do it for the video if you guys want to check out the mercury m2 wireless for yourself go check out the link at the top of the description as well as the pinned comment this mouse is honestly super unique and i had a great time using it it normally takes a while for me to get used to new mice but i definitely got the hang of this one pretty quick that's for sure but yeah guys massive shout out to the people over at gravistar for hooking me up with this and uh yeah like comment subscribe i'll see you guys later peace out